Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Ever had someone place the blame on you? Our natural instinct is to shift that blame, right? Like a hot potato. But those who are in Christ are truly blameless. Read today the book of Job, chapters 1 and 2, and the word of the day is blameless. It is the Hebrew word tom. This means perfect, integrity, completeness. The verse of the day is Job 1, verse 1. He was blameless, a man of complete integrity. He feared God and stayed away from evil. The book of Job details suffering in the life of a righteous man. We don't really have a neat and tidy answer for that, do we? We identify with Job's inner wrestlings and long for God's rescue, but perhaps in the pages of the book of Job, we realize our view of God and suffering were skewed toward self and not toward God's glory. In all our entitled sense of feeling we don't deserve pain in this life, we discover that we were not blameless after all, but the one who bore all of our blame, shame, and pain declared us so. I allowed suffering to create in me a disillusionment and distrust of God. I did not understand, like Job, how God could not intervene and stop the pain. This is the chief stumbling block for our culture as well. How could a good God permit suffering and in the case of Job, even perhaps provoke it? It is not until we face suffering that we understand what our real theology is. Blaming God reveals we think we deserve better than what He provided. Anger at God reveals an entitled soul. Judgment of God reveals that we base His goodness on our welfare. But worshiping God in the face of suffering reveals a heart that knows God will redeem every sorrow we endure on this earth. Nothing is wasted. If you're in a season of suffering, friend, right now, your suffering is not minimized in the eyes of God. And perhaps our idea of blameless needs an overhaul. To all of you perfectionists out there, we could never attain to Christ's righteousness. Perfection is not the same as being blameless. But isn't it amazing that God considers us righteous because of his own sacrifice? Go with God and his precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Matthew.